Well, welcome to How High School Gymnasium. Monty Walker along with Michael Mosier. Michael, when's the last time you broadcasted a basketball game? Uh, never. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time for me, too. We did a basketball game last year. Yeah. Uh, holiday, uh, the boys' playoff game did that, but uh, it's been a long time. We have two great teams here tonight, and this is for all the marbles in District 10-3A. It is the Howe Lady Bulldogs and the Pottsboro Lady Cardinals. These two teams have uh, battled against each other a lot the past couple of years. The Lady Bulldogs have, have really not had a lot of luck against Pottsboro, and uh, they've, they've lost some crucial games against Pottsboro, who ended up last year uh, winning the district. But Hal thinks this is their team. This is their year. These are the, the uh, sophomores that were going to be seniors. These were the big juniors that were going to be seniors. And now they're seniors. And Hal feels like this is their time and this is their night. So this should be a good game. Uh, they, they've come a long way, and, and it, 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 it's going to be a battle. You know, and uh, Coach... Derek Lands, who is looking for a career win number 348. Uh, been around a long time here in Howe, and, and uh, it, 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 we had a chance to talk to him just a little bit and uh, before the uh, uh, this afternoon, before everything kind of got rolling, and I asked him a few questions about his team, what kind of team uh, that they do have, and uh, Let's listen to what Coach Lance talked about as far as uh, this, how the season has gone so far. I thought when we went to the Whataburger Tournament, we played really good. We didn't win, but we played with, you know, and we could have won some of those games. We just didn't, but it, it's part of playing tough for people, you know, and, and I think we had a lull after that when we came back. I think we got up to go play, and I think we had a little lull, and it wasn't just the Pottsboro game. I mean, it was for a couple of weeks there. Well, I didn't think we played very good, and I think it was because we were, you know, hey, look what we did, and then we kind of just settled on it for a little while. <clears throat> so last week, or a couple of weeks ago, Pottsboro and Hal played, and, and the Lady Bulldogs basically won the entire game except for the last five minutes. Right. Hal yeah. was dominant. They were really just uh, uh, I mean as far as halftime I think it was 11 point game right? but the Lady Cardinals kept fighting back as they do they're well coached by Keith Bates and they kept coming back and you could kind of feel it happening we asked Coach Lands about that this is, this is what he had to say probably the the disappointment after it's over with and, and it's just like I've talked to them about this the the composure you have to have. It was a composure issue. It wasn't an athletic issue. It was a, what do we do with this? You know, and we, did, we didn't handle it well at the end. Not at all. None of us did. I mean, I didn't handle it well. Um, one of those things, you you can see a wreck coming, and <laughs> what do you do, you know? Yeah. So, but it was just as much my fault as it was theirs. I mean, and then, you know, as the girls here warm up, we had we talked to Coach Lenz about uh, what kind of team he has. You know, it's a, uh, this is a team that's very good inside out that I've seen with Riley Harvey underneath. Uh, the power game that she delivers with her many double-doubles right. almost every game. And then the, the ability to kick it out and shoot the three-pointer from Darcy Foster and also Alyssa Smith, the sharpshooter on the outside. Ask Coach Lands a little bit about his team, who they are, what they do. This is what he had to say. We're led by a bunch of seniors um, that have been really, really good. The kids play with a lot of heart and energy. I mean, people enjoy coming to watch them play with because uh, they're, they're fun to watch play. I mean, they'll get after you, and they have fun doing it. Yeah. Um, I decided a long time ago when, after I'd been here a couple of years that's the way we needed to play you know and I think that's the way you can be successful you can out hustle people you know you can get after people anybody can do that so it's just want to 
I think they're a closer group than people think they are. Um, of course, everybody, you know, every individual gears themselves towards what's important to them sport-wise and this, that, and the other. And uh, there's a lot of these kids that do a lot of stuff, and I think they're closer than people think, you know. Um, they have to be because you can say, well, you know, these two or three are good or whatever, but it, it takes them all. And, I, and I've really been putting an emphasis on it since Christmas break about the, we've got to do this together. You know, and it doesn't matter if you're number one or you're number 13 over there. You, you have a role and you have to play it. And a lot of people, they don't see that. You know, they, you know those ones that contribute a little bit, but they contribute a whole lot more than people think they do. You know, being the kind of the backbone of the cheerleading or the backbone of the inspiring people and being behind them. I mean, there's a lot of that that people don't see. Oh, well, I think it's a faster game. Um, I think the game has gotten better, uh, girl-wise. Um, there's a lot of good players out there. I mean, there's a lot of good players. And, um, but the speed of it's probably been the biggest change. But I've been pretty fortunate that I've had kids that could do that. You know, speed has played a big role in our success. That well, is, that is a, a big part of what they do here, uh, speed. And, and uh, it's not only the Lady Bulldogs, but also that happens over on the, uh, the boys' side, too. Right. The boys play a speed game. The game has changed a little bit. He did talk about that. Uh, you just noticed that Riley Harvey came out to the midcourt and I didn't catch who it was for Pottsboro. Uh, yeah, I was. It might have been O'Hanlon. We'll have the starting lineups. They'll do that here in house, and they they put on a pretty big show. And uh, as Tim Rose said, they you know we'll have the Star Spangled Banner. Everybody will line up. They'll do the intros, the hail to Norman Dickey. <laughs> they'll they'll do all of that here, and in, uh, in just a few moments. Yeah, they're close to us tonight too, aren't they? What's that? I said they're close to us. Yes, tonight. they are. They may be a little bit too close. We're going to take a quick timeout, and uh, we will take two minutes. We'll be right back, and hopefully by that time we'll be ready for some starting lineups. Back in a moment here at Howe High School Gymnasium. When it comes to Howe, Bill French Properties is 100% invested to the economic and residential growth for Howe. They also provide commercial and farm and ranch services. Bill French Properties provides buyer representation free of charge and provides every service from mortgages to credit repair to skilled craftsmen and inspections. Visit BillFrenchProperties.com or give him a call at 903-893-BILL. Bill French Properties, realtors that you can trust. Service in Grayson and North Collin County. I'm attorney Micah Belden and I will always be a Bulldog. I'm a proud graduate of Howe High School. The great leadership from our teachers and coaches helped me be able to become one of the few certified criminal law specialists in Texas. While I love the black and white, in trials everything is not always that way. If you've been investigated, arrested, or charged with a crime in North Texas, you need to call me now at 903-744-4252 for a free consultation. I'm board certified by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization, Principal Office, Sherman, Texas. Have you heard about the new coffee shop in downtown Van Alstine? Curie's Coffee Company in historic downtown Van Alstine next to the post office is the new upscale coffee shop serving Van Alstine, Howe, Anna, and surrounding areas. Curie's Coffee Company offers a wide variety of organic coffee and non-coffee beverages and baked goods. Come visit Curie's Coffee Company in downtown Van Alstine next to the post office and mention this ad and get 50% off your first beverage. Open Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 7 a.m. on Saturdays. Curie's Coffee Company is Texas quality. Well, I said we'd do two minutes. How about a minute and a half? As uh, the uh, girls have just left the court, and apparently we're going to get ready for a starting lineup. It never worked for us in football either. No, <laughs> we would always guess. And uh, looks like the uh, the girls are getting ready over there. We will have all of the uh, you know we've got a new. Here's the difference in the UIL. You can video broadcast. Basketball, baseball, softball, power, whatever, other than football. You just can't do football. I wonder why. Well, we'll get into that later. It's all about the mighty dollar, I would presume. Well, <laughs> and now. That was not me. Uh, welcome to Howe High School. 
rule in tonight's game between the Pottsboro Lady Cardinals and your hometown Howe Lady Bulldogs. And now the lineup for your visiting team. Number 13, 5'9 sophomore, Madeline O'Hanlon. Number 14, 5'9 sophomore, Hayden Williams. Number 10, 5'9 junior, Hattie Schoke. Number 5, 5'6 five, senior, Kelly Fry. And number 11, 5'9 senior, Randy, Randy Elder. Your assistant coaches are Allison Williams, Aaron Barton, and your head coach is Keith Bates. If I, uh, now, you wouldn't please stand. Well, we'll get back into that. Anthem, this is the uh, high school's very own Ms. McAdams. We'll do our national anthem, then our hail to Norman Dickey. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is basketball time in Texas. Uh, How go. about that? That's going to be a good. That'll hey. be a good one. Hey, this ought to be a great game. I can't. Fantastic wait. team. I can't wait to hear them score and see what you've come up with. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's going to be any of that tonight. <laughs> that would be a lot of nonsense. That would be a lot of. <laughs> Bonnie would not be able to talk tomorrow. Right. Yeah. I don't. I don't think we'll be going that route. Listen, we don't have our scoreboard up uh, because we have the camera. But I, I promise you, I will be giving you the score all night long after every uh, after every bucket, and uh, we'll be trying to do stats as well and try to keep up uh, with who has points. Just uh, say a little prayer because I'm going to be doing a whole lot of work tonight, as is Michael Mosier. Yeah, we're going to see how this camera thing works. Riley Harvey to tip it off against Madeline O'Hanlon. These two were in a struggle, a tussle, about two weeks ago. Harvey wins the toss, and it will go out to Hilly Fry, and to go out of bounds, it will be Howe's ball as Fry made the pass and turned it over. 
Inbounds with a two-guard set. Hargrove brings it up the court. Trying to play uh, small ball against Pottsboro here. Hargrove sets up for three to start the ball game and it bounces off the rim. And that will go against Howe. And Pottsboro will take it out of bounds. No score here early on, just underway. 7.43 left to go in the first. I guess it bounced off the top, maybe? I guess so. Pottsboro, there's uh, Hayden Williams. She's Pottsboro's best player. Alyssa Smith takes the ball away. Nice job of hustling there by Smith. And Howe will take possession. 7.33, no score here in the first. Hargrove brings it up the court. Two guard set, her and Streetman. A little mismatch on the floor for Howe. And this is Harvey underneath going up, laying it in, across the foul. The first two points of the game tonight scored by Howe, 724. Left in the first, Har Harvey will shoot to try to make it three. Yeah, that, uh, it's, she made it. And adding to it now, uh, Hal leads three to nothing early on. This is Williams up the far side of the court. Dribbling left-handed, guarded by Smith. Now over to Shope. Around the right wing, back up to O'Hanlon. Down, tipped by Harvey. Trying for the loose ball, and it is a tie ball. Reaching all the way around. Uh, Rainey Elder. And tied it up. Pottsboro gains possession here. Inbounds, Williams, top of the key, dribbling left-handed. Over to the left. And that is Fry. Fry in the corner to O'Hanlon. Right wing, wants to shoot the three. It is up and off the rim, rebound. Alyssa Smith brings it straight up the court. Passes over to Darcy Foster for three. She pulls up. And Peyton Streetman throws it just over the head of Addison Hargrove. And it goes out of bounds. Pottsboro will take possession. 647, down three to nothing here in the first quarter. Williams bringing it up court, guarded by Alyssa Smith. Crosses over left-handed, drives the lane to the right side, up and over, and it is out of bounds. Off Harvey, I believe. It might have been off Smith, but it does go out of bounds off how it'll be Pottsboro ball underneath. And this is Williams driving the lane, puts it up, the jumper, about eight foot away. Pottsboro's on the board for the first time tonight, three to two, trailing Howe. Streetman from one end to the other, drives the lane, and it is a struggle for it. A tie ball there between O'Hanlon and Streetman. And Howe will have possession underneath the basket. Streetman will inbound. Looking to the very back. Now finally has Hargrove. Can't find it. Now finally does. Hargrove goes up in the lane and banks it in. And Howe's lead goes up 5-2. to two. Over in the corner. And now Williams drives the bucket. A lot of action there. It'll be a, a blocking foul on Alyssa Smith who went down hard. Williams drove right into her. Trying to set up the charge there. The, the nose up is what Tim Rose would call it. But through the foul and Williams will shoot. Five to two, Howe leading, 6.09 left to go in the first. Left-handed shooter, Williams misses her first attempt of two. Will shoot again here. Bounces it off the back of the rim. O'Hanlon rebounds, dribbles it out to the three, right wing. Over to Fry. Fry left-handed dribble. Feeds inside to Williams. Bobbles it. And now Smith ends up with it for Howe. Smith, long pass all the way down for Streetman underneath the goal, trying to draw the foul. Misses the shot. Rebound Foster. Up over to Smith. Smith over to Hargrove. Hargrove, Hargrove back to Streetman. Back up. Blocked by O'Hanlon. O'Hanlon dribbles out under pressure by Harvey and Streetman. And now Fry will bring it up the court. Walking it up the court, guarded by Madison Hargrove. Left-handed dribbler looking underneath for Williams. And now we'll go for O'Hanlon. Left-handed shot in for Pottsboro as they cut the lead 5-4 to four with 5.24 left to go in the first quarter. Hargrove brings the ball up for Howe. 
dribbles out right side. And over to Streetman. Feeds underneath. Quick pass to Hargrove, but it falls out of bounds. It was tipped by Pottsboro. And Hargrove will inbound. A box formation. Looking for screens. Streetman at the free throw line. Drives over. Har Riley Harvey shoots the three. Backs off the back of the rim. And it will be a tie ball between Hargrove and that will be Rainey Elder who tied it up and now Pottsboro will regain possession here. Throwing it into Williams, running up the court guarded by Alyssa Smith. Slows the pace down a little bit over to Fry. Fry guarded by Hargrove. Slowing down the pace, 4.50 on the clock in the first quarter. How leading, five to four. Over in the corner. And that's Shope. Now up top to O'Hanlon, shooting the three rebound. Peyton Street dribbling it up, fast pace right up the middle. She will drive the lane, try to draw the foul. Ball gets away from Streetman, throws it out to Alyssa Smith. She'll drive the lane, puts it up, tries to draw the foul, and does, I believe. And I think that's going to be on Williams. Uh, number two. Uh, well, he said number two. I think he said 14, I 14. thought. Uh, yeah, there's not a number two out there. Maybe I need to put my – oh, I got my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> and Alyssa Smith drains the first end of it. And checking in now for Pottsboro is Kenzie Wade. Checking out is Madeline O'Hanlon. Alyssa Smith is on the board, her first point of the night. And she sends home her second. 425 left to go in the first. How leading seven to four. Pottsboro inbounds. And that is Show dribbling it up left side. Over to that was uh Kinsey Wade. Now up top to Elder. Over to Williams. Thought, he was gonna, thought she was going to shoot the three. Now throws a bad pass underneath. Harvey has it up to Streetman. Coming up the middle. Right side. Pass over to Darcy Foster. Quick shooting three. And she nails it. Ten to four. How on top. 354 left to go in the first. Williams drives the bucket. Left-handed shot. Misses. Rebound Harvey. Up the middle of the floor. Still driving. Turns. Goes to the bucket. And misses the, misses the layup, rebound, puts it up again, misses that, goes out of bounds. How ball with 3.36 left to go in the first, leading 10-4. to four. Woo, that's a lot of talking. Man, that's going to be worn out. You are. Hargrove trying to inbound, way out back to street the top of the key. Right-handed dribbling over the left wing to Hargrove. Hargrove looking for a pass, now shoots the three. Oh, Hales it, 13-4. Really This is Shope, right side. 3.20 on the first quarter clock. Over to Fry up top of the key. Started by Hargrove. Set the screen. Now over to Williams. Williams, left-handed, at the top of the key. Looking to pass, picks up a dribble. And now throws over to Elder, who dribbles right-handed. Back up top to Williams. Williams, she's going to drive on Melissa Smith. And Alyssa blocks the attempted shot. But it goes out of bounds, and Pottsboro will regain possession as Fry will inbounds, guarded by Hargrove. Looking to throw it in. Right underneath is Williams. A great block by Streetman. Misses the, misses the layup, and somehow Pottsboro is going to gain possession, and Derek Lands is not happy about that as Apparently that one went off of Pottsboro. At least Hal thought so. Fry inbound off of Elder, I guess. Yeah, I thought. I thought it did, but I guess not. They'll retain possession. This is Shope for three, and she bangs it home 13 to seven now as Hargrove brings it up the middle of the court. Right side, now down in the corner for Streetman. Trying to feed Harvey, and it goes out of bounds. It was out on Pottsboro, and Streetman will go underneath to inbound. 2.35 on the first quarter clock. Streetman 
trying to find somebody. Finally feeds Smith under the basket, goes up for the layup, misses the shot. Rebound, Pottsboro. Rebound, Shope. Looking down the court for someone to throw it to, but then she finally just stops and holds up over to Wade. Wade guarded by Harvey, back up to Shope. Shope, left-handed dribble in the hole for Williams. Williams goes up and stripped by Alyssa Smith, but it goes out of bounds. And Pottsboro will retain possession. Fry underneath, will inbounds. Shope guarded by Foster. Now out to Williams, shooting just inside the three. Rebound Harvey, 13 to seven. How leading Pottsboro. Streetman, big pass to Hargrove. Dribbles in the corner, now kicks out to Harvey. Harvey drives the lane over to Foster for three again, and it's off the front of the rim, but she draws the foul. She'll, th- she'll shoot three free throws. A lot of nice passing there for the Lady Bulldogs. Finding the open person. And Foster will rim out that first one. Trying to catch up. I told you I was going to try to score. I am not doing a good job with that. And... Foster again, and this time nails that one. So 14 to seven. How in the lead? Checking into the game for Pottsboro is Maddie Weiderman. Weidman up top is Wade. Almost stole by Harvey. It gets away, but Fry picks it up. Top of the key. Looking for some movement. And it was out to Shope, who goes up, and it's going to be a blocking foul on Riley Harvey. I believe, no, is that Smith? I believe Smith was charged with the infraction. I believe my mic volume got turned down. I apologize for that. There we go. Up top, Shope for three. She brings it home. 13, uh, 14 rather, to 10. 128 left to go in the first. Hargrove up top, right wing over to Darcy Foster, down in the corner to Streetman, feeding Harvey too far underneath the basket. And this time Pottsboro will come up. Shope brings it up the left wing. Over in the corner for Wade. Picks up her dribble, now is in trouble. Bounces it out to Shope, top of the key, left-handed dribbler, all the way down in the corner. And Fry shoots the three, banks it off the back of the rim, or back of the glass, rebound Harvey, and she'll bring it up the court. Guarded by Weidman, and Streetman now has it, back up top to Harvey. Harvey crosses over in the corner, Streetman. Now drives the lane and tries to draw the foul, no foul, lots of contact, nothing called either way, and now Fry will bring it up the court, under a minute. Over in the corner, and that's Wade for two. 14 to 12, and all of a sudden Pottsboro doing some outside shooting now. As Hargrove up top, still in this small guard situation. And Foster threw it out of bounds. She was looking for someone over in the corner. That someone was not there. Now Fry wants to inbounds, has it to show. Now back to Fry. Nope, not much pressure. We're under nine. We're at seven seconds. In the corner, Weidman up top to Shope. Drives the bucket on the layup. Misses the layup. Rebounded by Harvey, and that's the end of the first quarter. The Lady Bulldogs start very fast in the first quarter with a 14 to, well, 12 lead to end the quarter, but uh, they were up by a lot more than that here uh, just a moment ago. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with more Lady Bulldog basketball action. Two new businesses, Howe Mercantile and Texas Home Emporium, have joined downtown Howe at 107 and 109 East Haining Street. These two antique and gift shops offer vintage items that are rarely available in the Howe area. Their prices will definitely please shoppers. Come enjoy a unique shopping experience at Howe Mercantile and Texas Home Emporium. 
Go dogs! Abby's Restaurant is family owned and run. They have the cure for all your home cooking cravings. Chicken fried steak, loaded baked potato, bacon patty melt, grilled chicken salad, cheese fries, jalapeno stuffed peppers and more. Don't forget to save room for that cheesecake and cobbler with ice cream. We know you're going to love the food and the service. Abby's Restaurant in downtown Howe. Give them a call, 903-487-8860. Abby's Restaurant. Welcome back to Howe. As the Lady Bulldogs lead this uh, tussle 14-12 to after the first quarter. What a great, we knew it was going to be a great game, Michael, and it has been so far early on. It has. And then you've come up with your new word, tussle. Tussle. Streetman ends bounds to Hargrove up top of the key. Looking down underneath for Harvey, can't find anything. Nice guarding by Weidman, shoots the three, rims out. Rebound by Fry. Left-handed pass down the court for Williams. Stopped by Hargrove, now up top to Fry. Holding the ball, now dribbling over left corner. Williams backs up behind the three. Dribbles towards the top of the key. Now to the right side and walks. She was going to try to throw it to Shope. Shope cut the other way, and Williams was not ready to throw that after she had cut, and it caused a travel. And a turnover there, 7.30 left to go in the second period. And the, Bulldog, the Lady Bulldogs leading 14 to 12. Hargrove down in the corner left side. Alyssa Smith waiting for the rotation up top. Streetman, right wing. Thought about shooting it for a moment. Alyssa Smith from deep range and nails the three. 17 to 12. 7 11 left to go in the second period. And this will be Williams wanting, thought about shooting it for a moment. Now in the corner underneath. She'll dribble back out to the three in the left corner. Now dribbles inside the lane, back out to Fry, back in to Williams, turns and shoots. It's blocked by Smith, rebound Harvey. Harvey out to Streetman, running the floor, left side. And she's going to try to drive the bucket, does, misses the layout, rebound Wade up to Fry, who will bring it up the court. Fry, left side. Over to Williams, thought about shooting it, now she will. And in and out. Rebound, though, by Shope. Shope up to Wade, flashing underneath as Williams wanted it. They missed her. And now Wade will run to the bucket, driving, right-handed layup. Brought down by Weidman. Now underneath the Wade back again. They put it back up. Pottsboro scores 14, uh, 17 to 14 with 6-10 left to go here in the second period. Hargrove up top. Still running that small guard set. Right side over to Darcy Foster in the corner for Peyton Streetman. Streetman dribbling left-handed up top again for Alyssa Smith. Now over to Hargrove, left wing. Hargrove tries to feed Harvey underneath, puts it up, and draws the foul. An and one situation for Riley Harvey. That was a good pass. I haven't seen the, now they finally put the points on the board. 19 to 14. That was a good pass to across there. Yeah, the Hargrove, you thought, man, surely that's not a shot. It was right. so she was flat. So flat and low. But it was the perfect pass to Harvey as she completes the back end of the three. 20 to 14, Lady Bulldogs on top over Pottsboro. Weidman bringing it up the court now over to Fry. Left-handed, top of the court, guarded by Hargrove. Hargrove quickly over to shut her down. And now up top, Williams. Williams. Thought about shooting it, now in the corner. And Fry all alone, shoots the three, and it's gonna be out of bounds, apparently off of Dar Darcy Foster. And Pottsboro will inbounds as Holly Hawkins will come in. She'll take the place of Alyssa Smith. The first substitution of the night for the Lady Bulldogs. Up top, quickly yeah. shooting, blocked by Harvey, and now Weidman came down with it. Peyton Streetman tied her up, I believe. I think that was a yeah, they that called was, that a tie. Oh right, yeah, they did. That was a good that's a good block by Harvey. Now Fry trying to inbounds over to Weidman. Weidman left handed dribbling towards the bucket. Kicks out to the top of the key to Williams. Right handed dribbler over towards the right side. Now back to the middle over in the corner. Trying to feed and it's a kick off of Harvey's foot. She just stuck her left foot out there and it went off of it. And the ball rolls all the way to the other side. 
Harvey now will check out of the game for the first time tonight with the Lady Bulldogs leading 20 to 14. 5.13 left to go in the second period. Checking in is Landry Roden. Roden again a transfer from White Wright as her dad was hired here. He's the former athletic director at White Wright. Transferred over here and she came with him obviously. And here is Williams up top. Passes down underneath and is stolen by Landry Roden. Welcome to the game, Landry. Here is Streetman. Over in the corner, Darcy Foster for three. In and out and back in. 23-14. The sharpshooter, Darcy Foster, does it again. Williams, left-handed up top, dribbling the lane. Now kicks it back out to Fry. Back inside to Williams. Left-handed shot, misses. Rimmed it out, and here's Roden with the rebound over to Hargrove. Setting up the offense, top of the key, Hargrove. Over to Streetman, right side. Foster, over to Hargrove, left side. She shoots the three again. This time air ball, goes out of bounds. Pottsboro will take over. 420, left to go in the second period. Hal leading 23 to 14. Fry will bring it up top of the court. Guarded by Hargrove. Left-handed dribble. Over to the left wing, taking her time. O'Hanlon back into the game for Pottsboro. Lots of push Williams fakes the three, dribbles the lane, throws it away. Shope recovers, back up to Williams, top of the key. O'Hanlon being guarded underneath by Roden. About the same size girls, and now Williams stuck, now at the fry. She picked up her dribble and got in trouble. And Fry, top of the key, tries to beat Hargrove. Passes underneath, and they're going to get Holly Hawkins on the block as it was a pass down underneath the Shope. Hawkins was right there in position, but uh, a little bit of contact, and they called Hawkins for the foul. So Fry will take it underneath for the inbounds. Out to O'Hanlon at the three-point line. Left corner underneath for Williams, fouled by Foster. And she will shoot two as she missed the uh, layup. And Williams, not the one you want at the free throw line, Michael. Right. She's a really, really good shooter. I have kind of concentrated on his camera. Hey, I hope I'm doing a good job. You've got to, you, I'm sure you are. I haven't <laughs> even had a chance to look at it. I haven't had a chance to do anything. <laughs> You're going to have a sore right arm tomorrow, right. though. Right. Harvey checks back in for Streetman. First time Streetman's had a rest. 23-14, Howe in the lead, 3.36 on the second period clock. Williams on the back side of two free throws and misses them both. Rebound O'Hanlon, however, dribbles it out left side, up top to Williams again. Foster, who was way down the other side, has to hustle back. She does, and now Shope fires up a three and drills it. 23-17 as Shope has really hit some big three-pointers in his first half. 3.16 on the clock, Hargrove over to Foster, back to Hargrove, inside the road and down in the corner to Holly Hawkins, dribbles the lane, goes up, draws the foul, misses. Oh, they called the an offensive foul. They called what, what Hawkins wanted on the other end, she didn't get, this time they call it on her. And Pottsboro dribbles up quickly. Shope, top of the key to Fry. And this one's going to be against Pottsboro. On, is that five? Uh, that Fry? Yes, it was on uh, five. A push off by Fry gives Howe the ball. 2.59 on the second quarter clock. Leading 23-17. Hawkins checks out. Streetman comes back in. Hargrove, top of the key. Over left side to Darcy Foster. Foster, top of the key to Streetman. Streetman looks back to Foster. Thought about shooting the three, pulled it back. Hargrove, top of the key underneath to Roten. Now a bad pass underneath. Trying to feed Harvey underneath, but a great play there by uh, Elder, who got in front of the pass, knocked it out of bounds, but apparently it went off of Howe because Pottsboro will have possession. Shope being guarded by Streetman. 
Williams being guarded by Foster. Fry, top of the key by Hargrove. O'Hanlon underneath, feeds Williams underneath. Left-handed layup, good. 23-19, Howe in the lead, 2-19 on the clock. Second period, action. Hargrove dribbling up top, guarded by Fry. Reverse dribble. Picks up her dribble, now feeds Harvey, top of the key. Now Foster for three, nails it again. Foster on fire. 26-19, her third three of the first half. Feeding underneath, a great play by Harvey to steal the ball. Picks up her dribble. I thought for a moment, now she dribbles it up court, down in the corner for Streetman. Up top of the key for Roten. Looking for Hargrove, left side, top of the key. Now down in the corner to Foster. Foster back up top, playing. And Streetman will shoot the three off the right side of the rim. Rebound, Harvey. Great rebound, up top. Streetman thought about shooting. Now she's going to drive the lane, a foul by, oh, they're going to call for carrying the ball. A middle school call. Right. You don't normally see that anymore. But they they made the call there on uh, on Streetman. A minute 27 left to go before the half. How on top, 26-19. Williams, right side of the lane, dribbling it up, jogging up, now sprints to the basket and dribbles it off her foot and out of bounds. The Lady Bulldogs crowd, you can hear, is very loud and all decked out in white as it was a whiteout night. Hargrove up top. Dribbling right and left, now right. Shoots the three off the left side of the glass and it is rebounded finally by William, or Shope who takes care of it. Dribbling up right side. Top of the key now, dribbles left-handed towards the middle of the lane. Now Fry's gonna dribble, goes up, tries to draw the foul and does on Landry Roten. She misses the layup, however, but will shoot two with 50 seconds left to go before the half. Trailing Howe, 26 to 19. Fry will shoot two. Yeah, but uh, uh, trying to keep my camera going. I know, here. it's hard. It's it? hard. It's, You've it's, got a lot of things going on. It's just banks out the first one. That, uh, it's not like football. No. I got to. We're Steven. Yeah, right. We, we need it. Hey, this is a good spotter job. Maybe I can get Malin down here. That's a good spotter job. Maybe, I think mean, Malin might be able to do that. <laughs> Fry just hits the first one and now hits the second one. And it's a four-point game with under a minute left in the first half. Hargrove up top. Harvey at high post. Streetman flashes. And here's Foster left side, left wing over to Streetman. Right side, now over to Hargrove, right wing. Dribbles, baseline up and in. A nice job by Hargrove. Penetrating the baseline up in the easy layup. 24 seconds on the clock. Williams, left-handed, top of the key. Over in the corner. And a nice steal by Harvey. A lot of action, a lot of hit there, but no, no foul called as Harvey was hit hard by Williams. And both of them took a shot right there, but maybe I spoke, no foul. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe we are playing football. 14 seconds on the clock. Howell will inbound. Foster to Hargrove. Hargrove brings it up top of the key, guarded by Williams. 10 seconds, nine. And here's Hargrove over right side, Foster. Five seconds, four. Up top of the key to Streetman, over to Hargrove in the corner, driving the bucket. Tries to shoot, and it's blocked, and that's the end of the first half. Howe leads 28-21 here at the half. We knew it was going to be a great game. So far, so it has far, been so that, good. Michael. Yes, it has. It's been everything we thought it would. And I guess if we talk about maybe the story of the first half, might it be Darcy Foster and yeah. her cold-blooded three three-pointers she from the is corner? on a roll. What a uh, fantastic half. We're going to try to reel in uh, 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 Tim Rose here in just a moment. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be back with more Lady Bulldog action in just a moment. 
In these days of fast-paced lives and fast-talking salespeople, it's nice to know you can still count on your local dish retailer, Cavender Home Theater, with folks right here in your area to tell you the honest truth. Dish simply costs less for the very same channels. For your home or business, Dish and Cavender's has it at a reasonable price with old-fashioned service. Call Cavender Home Theater at 903-892-3499 today and experience an expert who's happy to answer all your questions. Or go to CavenderTV.com. Do it now. The Howe Enterprise has served the hometown news since 1963. Since then, the Bulldogs have won eight districts, eight by districts, four area championships, and one regional title. We've covered 14 different head coaches during that time. The Howe Enterprise has been with the Bulldogs for 52 years. We were there when the pride of Howe won three band state championships. Look for each week's publication every Monday at HowEnterprise.com. When it comes to Howe, Bill French Properties is 100% invested to the economic and residential growth for Howe. They also provide commercial and farm and ranch services. Bill French Properties provides buyer representation free of charge and provides every service from mortgages to credit repair to skilled craftsmen and inspections. Visit BillFrenchProperties.com or give him a call at 903-893-BILL. Bill French Properties, realtors that you can trust. Service in Grayson and North Collin County. Okay, welcome back to How High School Gymnasium. Now we have a special guest. If you want to talk about basketball around here, somebody who coached for about, I don't know, 57 years or, I, no, it wasn't that long. 20, Coach Tim Rose, welcome. 24 years, Monty. 24. That's it. And you were one of them. I was the very first team. That's right. That's, I, I got I, to play for about three, no, about seven games with you until you know, injuries yep. took place. But Yeah, we did. We, I think with that very first initial year, we played 18 ball games is what we did. Well, at least I got to play a half a season with you. It was better than uh, the years before, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, I don't know about that. Let's talk, let's talk about the Lady Bulldogs and, and what we've seen so far. We knew it was going to be a big game. Well, but, I, well, I can tell you this. I'm just sitting here in the, in the bleachers watching, but this is as physical a ball game for girls basketball as you're ever going to see. Two teams getting after it, full court, man defense, and I tell you what, it is. It you'd better be strong out there. That's all I can tell you because it's physical. What do you think so far has been the? Uh, uh, what was the big part of the first half? If you had to, you know, say, well, it, it was this person or this this situation. What do you think it was? Well, for us, the first half we had we had some uh, young ladies step up, make some shots from the perimeter. Uh, we've hit we've hit four or five threes. Uh, they're doing a great job, you know, on Riley inside. Uh, she's getting double teamed, face guarded, and it's really tough. Now, she's made some tough shots, and they've got the ball to her at times. But really on offense, the offensive, offensive part of the ball game is we've made a few shots from the perimeter. Now, as far as, you know, Coach, Coach Land said that, you know, they, they were gonna, he was going to try to mismatch them a little bit and run a two-guard set. Came out there. First time we've seen that in a long time, running Hargrove and Streetman out there, both at the same time, trying to get a mismatch on Pottsboro. Do you think that's been effective? Yeah, I've noticed we have been doing that the last three or four ball games. He's been starting a little bit smaller lineup to try to get a little uh, a little more mismatch with the speed. But uh, I'll tell you what, Pottsboro, yeah, they're a good ball club. They're a good ball club and uh, – it's it's been a really good ball, it's real well played. Well, uh, what do you think is going to? Any predictions on this thing? I tell you what, it's going to come down. Who can survive? <laughs> uh, I don't anticipate it changing any as far as the officiating and the physicality of the ball game. I mean, they're they're calling fouls. It's it's uh, both ends. It's it's a physical ball game, and uh, it's just going to come down to those two or three buckets probably at the end of the ball game, and probably going to come down to free throw shoot, to tell you the truth. You know, it comes down, it seems like with Pottsboro, how always seems to win the first three quarters. Well, yeah, you know, the last time we played in Pottsboro, we got out to a, a big lead, a little bigger than this one, and, uh, and it tightened up the second half, and we had the overtimes, and, and uh, it, it's going to come down to the end. That, that, it's just it, – it's just setting up that way. Well, we uh, appreciate you coming on. I know a lot of people are listening to this around <laughs> the country. They, uh, you've coached a lot of kids. I've, 
I've had a, I've had a good time here. Yeah. Uh, it's this this is my home. To, this is my home for me. So I lot, love watching the Bulldogs, ladies and guys. A lot of fishing now. Uh, you bet. <laughs> Retirement. Hit the golf course. Hit the lake and uh, watch Bulldog basketball. Well, we may pull you in here for the halftime of the boys game. We'll <laughs> see. But I know we've uh, we've got to probably try to get Mr. Dickey over here as well. All right. So. Yeah, you need to get Mr. Dickey. <laughs> thank you, Monty. Hey, thank you. It. Appreciate it. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be back with more Lady Bulldog action here at Howe High School Gymnasium. I'm attorney Micah Belden, and I will always be a Bulldog. I'm a proud graduate of Howe High School. The great leadership from our teachers and coaches helped me be able to become one of the few certified criminal law specialists in Texas. While I love the black and white, in trials, everything is not always that way. If you've been investigated, arrested, or charged with a crime in North Texas, you need to call me now at 903-744-4252 for a free consultation. I'm board certified by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization, Principal Office, Sherman, Texas. Have you heard about the new coffee shop in downtown Van Alstine? Curie's Coffee Company in historic downtown Van Alstine next to the post office is the new upscale coffee shop serving Van Alstine, Howe, Anna, and surrounding areas. Curie's Coffee Company offers a wide variety of organic coffee and non-coffee beverages and baked goods. Come visit Curie's Coffee Company in downtown Van Alstine next to the post office and mention this ad and get 50% off your first beverage. Open Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 7 a.m. on Saturdays. Curie's Coffee Company is Texas quality. Well, Michael, we're just about ready for the second half. And uh, tell me your thoughts about what we've seen so far. Uh, we've seen a good basketball game. I mean, it's, it's getting as, as intense as you would think it would. Lots yeah, of, I would agree that lots of pushing and shoving. Coach Rose said that this is probably the most physical game that, that you'll see. It in, in a girls basketball game and, and uh, it's definitely got physical it, it is very physical things that we may not catch on the camera i can see that he's getting pretty physical i'd like to uh, thank everybody out there for listening tuning in to lady bulldogs basketball tonight of course we'll have the boys coming up after that hey uh a quick note before we start uh did you uh, hear about coach dennis from I, melissa i did not he has taken an assistant principal job for the melissa Coach Dennis. Coach Dennis. Craig Dennis used to be a uh, track coach here in Howe. He uh, he stepped up, took a principal's job this week. Congratulations oh. to him. Absolutely. We're just about ready for the second half. We have Smith. We have Foster, Hargrove, Streetman, and Harvey to start the second half. Shope, Fry, Williams, O'Hanlon, and Elder to start for Pottsboro. And this is O'Hanlon at the top of the key. Underneath the fry, left hand, and she misses a layup but draws the foul on Hargrove. Hargrove was straight up, but apparently was moving enough to draw the foul. Just underway, 28-21 here in the second half. 7.52 on the third quarter clock. How leading. Fry will shoot the front end of two. Left-handed shooter bangs home the first one. Six-point ball game. They, uh, pretty smooth left-handed shooter too. Fry on her second shot, high arch, bounces, bounces. Harvey with the rebound, kick out Alyssa Smith, right side. Now down in the corner for Foster up to Hargrove, top of the key. Now over to Streetman, shoots the three, and rims out. Rebound by. Schoep, who will bring it up the court right side. Guarded by Foster. Picks up her dribble now over to Williams, left side. Cutting his elder, it didn't hit her. Williams still dribbling top of the key and will stop, throw underneath to O'Hanlon, makes a great move. Harvey with the block, but they call the foul. Harvey again, in, in last time, you might say the difference in the game a couple of weeks ago over in Pottsboro was the fact that Harvey fouled out. Right. The game went to overtime and then double overtime, no Harvey, and that changes the complex of the Lady Bulldogs when that happens. O'Hanlon hits the first end to two, and now all of a sudden it's a five-point game, and it could be four if O'Hanlon hits this one right here with 7-19 left to go in the third. And she does. Nothing but net, 28-24, Streetman with the ball. Dribbling up the court, pressure by Pottsboro. Now trapped, 
And it's going to be a tie ball as Williams came in, grabbed the ball as Streetman was in trouble. It's Howell's possession. Streetman will inbounds and looks at Hargrove in the backcourt. Hey, give me a mouth shake over there. Oh, sorry. Right no, side. There we go. Hey, we're back. <laughs> and here's Hargrove dribbling left side. Underneath, Streetman goes up and puts in the layup. Howe's got 30, and now a bad pass from O'Hanlon to Williams. A turnover, and Howe will take over possession on their own end. Darcy Foster will inbounds. Looks out, Hargrove, top of the key, right side. Dribbles over to the very top of the key, and it's going to shoot the three, and it rims out the first in front of the rim. Rebound by Williams. Left-handed dribbling up the left side of the court. Now it goes towards the middle, guarded by Alyssa Smith. Picks up a dribble, throws out to Elder, cuts back into Williams, and apparently that's going to be a foul on like Smith. Smith. So we'll check to see if there's going to be any substitutions here. As Smith now with two, three. I think that's her third foul. Yeah, that's her third. Coach Lance doesn't look very happy. So Williams will shoot two here. And that is pretty good. Tim Rose said that this game might very well come down to free throw shooting towards the end of the game. And already here in the first part of the third quarter, uh, Pottsboro has been on the line several times. 30 to 25, Howe in the lead, 631 on the third quarter clock. Williams for her second shot. Left hand, bounces off the back of the rim, rebound, Hargrove up the court. A lot of pressure, but she comes down with it, and now a foul, a foul call, I believe, on Williams. Sorry, I was watching the game. Forgot about the camera. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry about that. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Here's Foster. Out to Hargrove on the backcourt, dribbles it up. Guarded by Elder. Left side, Streetman. Looking at Hawkins, trying to feed her. Hawkins had a had an open moment. Uh, Streetman now brings it up top of the key to, to Hargrove. Bounce pass into Hawkins at the high post. Over to Streetman in the right corner. Dribbles to the basket. Goes up. Makes the layup. And the Bulldogs, the Lady Bulldogs are on the board again. 32-25. 5.56 on the third quarter clock. Fry up top over to Williams, left wing. Wing's gonna, uh, Williams gonna shoot that three and she nails it to keep Pottsboro close again, 32-28. A big bucket there and a timeout's been called by Derek Lands. We will take one two back in a moment with more Lady Bulldog action. Two new businesses, Howe Mercantile and Texas Home Emporium, have joined downtown Howe at 107 and 109 East Haining Street. These two antique and gift shops offer vintage items that are rarely available in the Howe area. Their prices will definitely please shoppers. Come enjoy a unique shopping experience at Howe Mercantile and Texas Home Emporium. Go dogs! Abby's Restaurant is family owned and run. They have the cure for all your home cooking cravings. Chicken fried steak, loaded baked potato, bacon patty melt, grilled chicken salad, cheese fries, jalapeno stuffed peppers, and more. Back to action. Sorry about that, Abby's. We'll get back to that here in just a moment. As Madison Harger over dribble up right side, trying to penetrate the lane. Kicks it out, bounce pass in the corner to Streetman. Streetman in trouble, guarded by Shope. Down underneath the Harvey, puts it up, misses the layup, gets her own rebound, puts it up again, draws the foul. Harvey will shoot two. Leading 32-28, the Lady Bulldogs do over Pottsboro. No chance of keeping score here. Right, it's just too should. much. You so, have to go back and watch the replay. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe you've been tallying at home. Uh, as Harvey hits the front end of two there, 33-28, 526 on the third quarter clock. And nails them both, 34-28, a six-point game. O'Hanlon inbounds to Williams, coming up right side. Guarded by Foster, cutting towards the middle of the lane. 
Now out to Fry, left wing. Fry is going to hit the three. She has an awkward shot, but has been successful a lot. 34-31. Hargrove dribbling up right side, and pressure by Shope and Fry has the ball go out of bounds, and Pottsboro will have possession here. Fry trying to inbounds over Hargrove. Up top, Williams, guarded by Foster. Williams thought about driving the lane, kicks it back out now underneath the Fry and draws the foul on Hargrove. So uh, Derek Lands, you can see, is just shaking his head, has his head down, on looking at the floor, and you're wondering what he's thinking. Is he upset at the foul or is he upset at the foul call? You just never know. Here is Shope, 4-3, air ball, Fry, rebound, in the corner, up to Old Hanlon, over to Show. She's going to drive this time, and she airballs the layup. And now Elder has it knocked out, and I've got the basketball. Look at that. Look at that. It's like catching a foul ball. At it the, is. Uh, it's a shame we've got to give it back. That's right. Here is Fry underneath, trying to look in for Show, and O'Hanlon with a great pass to O'Hanlon, and she banks it off in, into the rim. And it's 34-33, all of a sudden a one-point game. Foster on the line, it won't be three. It's no good anyway, off the front of the rim. And here's Williams coming back the other side. Here we go. Williams, top of the key, stops and pops. And Pottsboro has their first lead of the night, 36-34. Here's Foster, top of the key, breaking the press, moving over towards the left wing, dribbles up. Passes over to Hargrove up top of the key. 4.02 on the third quarter clock. Foster thought about shooting. And now O'Hanlon bats the ball down. And we have a whistle ball, but I'm not sure what that was, Mike. I, I'm not sure. It looked like he he, he uh, called it on number five for pushing uh, Madison down. But I thought maybe their feet just got tangled. Up. Ollie Hawkins checks out of the game. Melissa Smith back in. Madison Hargrove, right side, over to Smith, down in the corner for Peyton Streetman. Now dribbles up, comes up top to Smith, back to Streetman in the corner, and Derek Lands is really upset. As we have a block, we have a foul call on Harvey underneath, and Potsburg. and Derek Lands is really giving the official the stink eye. Not very happy. You know, Lands is not an outgoing, real jumping around kind of guy, but when he gets worked up, he really does. Streetman right. is going to inbounds out to uh, Hargrove. Top of the key. Dribbling right side now over to Smith, right side. Back to long pass to Foster who airballs the three. It's just about just a little bit short. Fry, left side, up to Williams, pushing it. Trying to draw the foul, throws it up there, and it's rebound by Harvey, no call. Foster to Smith, left wing, she's going to shoot, and she nails it. Alyssa Smith, who always launches long bombs and nails that one, 37-36. The Lady Bulldogs regain the lead. Fry dribbling towards the lane, great defense over there by Smith. Top of the key, Elder over far corner, and O'Hanlon puts it up. It wasn't enough for three. She was on the line, misses it anyway. And here comes Smith. Over to Foster, left wing, down in the corner to Streetman. She's gonna shoot the three off the back side of the rim. And Hargrove goes up for the rebound. They're gonna get her for over the back. And now Hargrove is in foul trouble. Yeah, she's up right three on her now. 37-36, How in the lead. 2.46 left to go in the third quarter. And this is everything you thought it would be. Yes, it is. Out to O'Hanlon, back to Fry. She'll bring it up the court, not in a hurry. Williams guarded by the sophomore Streetman. She has position underneath, and then Riley Harvey comes over, and now they're starting to call foul. They will get Harvey as Harvey jumped the route. It's like a cornerback, and Harvey had great position, jumped out, but they got the foul call on her. 
And I, I just don't understand how they let them play so much in the first half, and now they're right. being so so guarded here in the second half. Right. Yeah, and Coach Lance does not look very happy. You know, if, uh, if he had a headset on, I bet he'd be on the floor. Williams will shoot the front end. Of, well, I guess she's going to shoot one and one here. Yep, she will, and she makes it. Of course, tie ball game between the Lady Bulldogs and the Lady Cardinals here in Howe. 37 up, 235 left to go in the third quarter. A great ball game here. Yep, yes it is. Williams. Will miss that one. Streetman with a dive for it. She uh, got away with maybe carrying the ball there. A nice interception by Madison O'Hanlon on the deep pass. Here is Williams driving to the bucket and feeds O'Hanlon, blocked by Harvey. They're gonna get Harvey again. And now Harvey is in some serious foul trouble. Actually, and that's not great when the Lady Bulldogs are tied. Actually, actually looks like he might've got it on, he called it on Alyssa. Okay, all right, that one's on Smith apparently. Uh, yeah, he called Sorry that one on that. Alyssa. Wow, well, I thought it was Harvey too. Yeah, it's four for Alyssa. O'Hanlon in and out on the first free throw. Leaves us with the tie ball game of 222. Landry Roden checks in for Alyssa Smith. That's a, that's a whole lot of deep bomb shooting over there on the bench now as Smith is in foul trouble and out of the game. And here's O'Hanlon, she banks this one and it's not good. Harvey goes for the rebound over the back of Shope. Call and they're gonna call the tie, they're gonna call, call a tie, the tie ball. ball. You know, that was a huge play over in Pottsboro two weeks ago when O'Hanlon got called over the back. She she basically, you know, I've seen felonies worse than that, but they called a jump ball on that. And here's Elder who banks in on a great pass for a layup. And now Pottsboro takes the lead, 39-37. Here's Treatment with a high pass trying to hit Harvey underneath, and it goes off of Williams out of bounds, and Howe will regain possession. Not real sure what we were looking at there because I was looking at the game. Cameron full in check into the game. Will inbounds trying to find somebody. It needs to hurry and finally hit Streetman underneath. Up for the layup and good. Streetman will have a chance to finish off a three-point play here as she ties the game with 2.07 left to go in the third. And how can take the lead here once again with Streetman's free throw and she does 40 to 39 the lady bulldogs in the lead boy we have got toga parties we've got statues american flag boy we got all kinds of stuff on the home side and here is show driving the bucket misses the layup rebound streetman nice ball handling up top calls for hargrove hargrove takes it now up top guarded by elder over to full and check left wing full and check up top to Streetman, wanted to shoot the three. Hargrove wanted to shoot the three. Now down underneath, and Harvey misses the layup and almost got called for a reach. Here's Fry up the left side. O'Hanlon, middle of the lane, draws the foul, misses the layup, and I'm not sure who they called it on there. They called it on Roten. And Landry Roten with her second foul of the contest. 40 to 39, and Coach Rose talked about free throws, and here we are. It's been nothing but a free throw contest here in the second half, 40 to 40. 40 to 40 with 125 left to go in the third quarter. You know, they let them play in the first half, and here, here it is, and now O'Hanlon hits the back end, 41 to 40, Pottsboro in the lead, a buck 22 left to go in the third. Hargrove up top over to Streetman, left wing, wing. And now over to Hargrove to the right wing. She'll bring it up to the top of the key. Harvey still in the game, has been covered greatly. Here's Streetman for three, nails it! 43-41, under a minute left. Here in the third quarter, Howe regains the lead, 43-41. Show. Out to Elder, kicks it up top to O'Hanlon. O'Hanlon drives and now kicks it out to Williams, left wing. Makes a move on Fullencheck. 
Now dribbles out to the three-point line. Tries to feed underneath to O'Hanlon. Bad pass. Roden comes away with it. Kicks it out to Hargrove, left wing. Now dribbles it up to the middle of the court. 30 seconds on the clock. Howe leading by two, 43-41. Hargrove backing up towards the midcourt. Playing for the last shot. Now goes right side. Down in the corner. Now to the middle of the lane. Has to kick it out somewhere or shoot it. Pivoting. Nowhere to go. Finally finds Roden. Has it bounce off her right hand. And then a foul call. Shope came over to try to intercept the ball after it went off Roden's hand. And then Roden ended up with a foul call. Yeah, they called her for holding. So that's her third foul. As Shope will shoot with 10 seconds left to go in the third quarter. How leading 43-41. Mercy, mercy. My goodness, you won't be able to talk tomorrow. No, I won't. Shope bricks that one, and see what happens on the back end. Now, Weidman and I believe that's Wade checking him back into the game. Another miss. Oh, Hanlon and Harvey go up for it in a tie ball. Boy, those two have really gone at it, not only tonight, but two weeks ago as well. <laughs> and another tie ball. And that, you know, Michelle Carney got the photograph of the year a couple of weeks ago in Pottsboro. If she got that one, that would be a good one, too. Here's Hargrove and a deep bomb by Streetman back off the back of the rim. And we're going to the fourth quarter. How leading? 43 41. Back in a moment. Abby's Restaurant is family owned and run. They have the cure for all your home cooking cravings. Chicken fried steak, loaded baked potato, bacon patty melt, grilled chicken salad, cheese fries, jalapeno stuffed peppers, and more. Don't forget to save room for that cheesecake and cobbler with ice cream. We know you're gonna love the food and the service. Abby's Restaurant in downtown Howe. Give them a call, 903-487-8860. Abby's Restaurant. In these days of fast-paced lives and fast-talking salespeople, it's nice to know you can still count on your local dish retailer, Cavender Home Theater, with folks right here in your area to tell you the honest truth. Dish simply costs less for the very same channels. For your home or business, Dish and Cavender's has it at a reasonable price with old-fashioned service. Call Cavender Home Theater at 903-892-3499 today and experience an expert who's happy to answer all your questions. Or go to CavenderTV.com. Do it now. You know, we started off this contest with We Believe. It was the chant that Riley Harvey made famous here in Howe, the We Believe. And here we are with the Lady Bulldogs up two in the final frame. And do they believe? Here is Williams, top of the key. Guarded by Foster. Left side to Wade, guarded by Smith back in the game. Smith and Streetman get the ball away from Wade for a moment and she regains composure out to Williams who was going to shoot the three for a moment. Foster got in her face. Williams decided not to shoot it. Now she's very deep. Thought about shooting it. O'Hanlon makes a move towards the middle. Hits a cutting Williams who drives to the lane and puts it in. Ties the game 43-43 with 7.26 left to go in the game. Hargrove up top who has played a lot tonight. To the right side, Smith. Over to the left wing, Foster back up top, Smith. Guarded by Williams. Here's Hargrove up top to Smith again, over in the corner to Streetman. Streetman trying to make a move on Weidman. Feeds Smith underneath, goes up and draws the foul. It's going to be called on Williams. I'm quite certain. We'll have to check and make sure, but I believe that's on Williams. And no, it's going to be Wade. on Wade. That's her second foul of the night. Smith will shoot two with 7.02 left to go in the game. 43-43, make it 44-43 as Smith hits the front end. It's going to be a shootout. Yeah, it's going to be a classic here. Smith bounces off the back end of the rim. And this is the back end, 6.58 on the clock, 43, or 44-43, rather. As here's Williams, left corner O'Hanlon, trying to find somebody cutting underneath, trying to find Williams cutting underneath. 
Now Weidman cuts and misses the layup. Rebound Foster. Streetman up top, right corner. Down in for Smith. Three-pointer. Too far. Rebounded by Elder, who will kick it out to Williams. Williams will bring it up top of the key. 6.25 left to go. How leading by one. Feeds underneath to Elder. Turn around, hook. And that one is successful. 45-43. Pottsboro in the lead. Hargrove. Left side. And a timeout's been called by Derek Lands. We'll take one, two. Back in a moment with more Lady Bulldog action here at Howe High School Gymnasium. The Howe Enterprise has served the hometown news since 1963. Since then, the Bulldogs have won eight district, eight by district, four area championships, and one regional title. We've covered 14 different head coaches during that time. The Howe Enterprise has been with the Bulldogs for 52 years. We were there when the pride of Howe won three band state championships. Look for each week's publication every Monday at HowEnterprise.com. Well, Michael, it's a, it's been everything we thought it would be. And it's all, it's, we still got six minutes. We've got woo, most of the fourth quarter to go. That's intense basketball right there. Pottsboro is leading 45-44. Somebody is going to be crying after this game. Yeah. There's going to be a heartache tonight as the – what's who sung that? Eagles? That yeah, Eagles yeah. Song? I had to replay it in my head. Yes, it's yeah. Eagles. Hargrove, top of the key. Looks left side for Smith. Smith down in the corner for Streetman. Streetman dribbles up right wing. Now passes out to Smith. Back in the corner to Streetman. Underneath, a bad pass too high for Harvey. And a fight for it. Scramble to the right side. Streetman's out of bounds. And they're going to give the ball to Shope, who stayed in bounds, fighting for it. And Pottsboro will take possession here, moving left to right. Fry will bring it up. Everybody's starters are into the game now. No subs. Both starting fives. O'Hanlon, left wing, firing for three. It is no good. Rebound Fry. O'Hanlon's going to shoot it again. Why not? And it fronts this one. It's no good. But right there is Williams to grab the rebound. And Pottsboro now with a three-point lead, their biggest of the night, 47-44. 5.17 on the clock. Streetman up top. Barking signals like a quarterback. Throws it out left side to Hargrove. Down in the corner for Foster. Being guarded nicely by Wade. Now Hargrove all the way across intercepted or knocked out of bounds rather by Shope. Kind of telegraphed that pass to Streetman all the way across the floor. And Howe regains possession up top Hargrove. Five, five minutes exactly on the clock. 47-44 Pottsboro in the lead. Hargrove right side, Riley Harvey. At the wing, down in the Tries to feed down in low. Nice job by Shope knocking it away. Foster was wide open in the corner. Harvey didn't look at her. Here's Hargrove, top of the key. Over to Harvey. Right wing. Feeds Alyssa Smith and some, some contact yeah, a little with bit of, Hargrove rolling. Got a little bit of action going on down low. Well, that is going to be... Four fouls on Hayden Williams. Williams, and that's their that's their best player. Now there's only 4:34 remaining in the game, so she's not really in critical situation of fouling out. I wouldn't think at this point. But here's a rebound by Hargrove after she missed the free throw, kicks it out. Foster wanted to fire it up, didn't. Streetman makes a move to the bucket, throws it up, misses the layup. There was contact, no foul. Williams brings it up top of the key. Drives, now kicks it out O'Hanlon, right wing, makes a move on Harvey, goes up, misses the layup. Harvey rebounds it, dribbles it up the floor at the right wing. Looking for somebody to throw to, Foster. Kicks it out to Streetman in the corner, drives the lane and misses the layup, gets her own rebound, puts it up again, and Streetman comes through to narrow the gap, 47-46. Shope at the right wing, 3.46 on the clock. O'Hanlon left wing, down in the corner now. Williams drives the basket, turn around, layup, misses it, rebound Harvey. 
Harvey kicks it over to Hargrove, who will bring it up the court. 3.33 on the clock. Out trailing by one. Hargrove, top of the key. Up, right wing, Harvey dribbling on O'Hanlon. Turn around, left-handed, off the front of the rim. Rebound, Alyssa Smith kicks it out to Hargrove, shoots the three, air balls it way out. Rebound by Shope, and she will bring it up. Slow it down to Fry, who will bring it across the midfield stripe. And a timeout by Keith Bates has been called by Pottsboro, and we will take I'll tell you what, Michael, let's keep it right here. There we go. Let's just stay here. You know, this, this is a good ball game. The, you know, we keep saying it's everything we thought it would be. And we talked to Tim Rose at the half, and he said, you know, it's going to come down to free throw shooting more than likely in a game this physical. And, and it has. It has. And, and, and Pottsboro has been very successful on uh, shooting those free throws. O'Hanlon and Williams both early in the third quarter just uh, knocked them home. And, and that, that gives you a chance to, you know, to catch up. Right. quickly when you're shooting with time not going off the clock. You know, I'll have to say, though, I, yeah, they did. I agree. They let them play the first half, and then now all of a sudden, golly, everything they do, you know, things they did freely in the first half, they're calling the second half. Yeah, I, I guess you have to to keep it from getting out of control. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's going to come down to uh, it's going to come down to who wants it, I guess. They're just about ready as the official picks up the ball, tucks his shoelaces into his shoes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think, oh, no, he was out of camera. Dribbles once, and here comes Shope. She will inbound. Foster guarding. Foster with her hands up there. Over down inside to O'Hanlon. O'Hanlon to Shope. Wants to shoot the three and nails it. 50 to 46, now a four-point lead for Pottsboro. Under three minutes left to go in the game. Hargrove up top, dribbling right side. Penetrates the lane over to Foster, wanted to shoot it, didn't pull the trigger. Alyssa Smith makes a move on Wade, goes to the bucket, misses the layup. Rebound, show, right side. Now Pottsboro slowing it down at the two and a half minute mark. And they're going to try to milk this four-point lead as long as they can. But a timeout was called. Yeah, Pottsboro called timeout. I thought for a moment they were just going to let that one milk down as far as they could, but apparently not. They called the timeout, 224 left to go in this game, and Pottsboro leading 50-46. to 46. And I'll tell you what, it would be the irony of irony if the Lady Bulldogs were able to come back and win this game and come from behind fashion because that's all Pottsboro's done in the past several years on Howe. Yeah, it's come from behind. Come from behind and, and, and knock out Howe. So it would be sweet justice. and We called it uh, Red Revenge early in the week. And it would be pretty good revenge if they could come back and win this game. Howe, again, as in fashion, with this series has led most all of the game, almost the entire game. This is the largest lead Pottsboro's had in the contest. And here we are late in the fourth quarter. That's what's happened over the past two years. Fry will inbounds, Hargrove guarded. Hargrove stares at the ball and now out to show, out to the right side. Now dribbles left-handed, taking her time, push off of Foster, and Foster goes to the floor, but no call there. Show now as they spread it out, and they're just going to try to kill time. Williams dribbles out. Now she's going to the bucket, trying to beat Streetman. Now she's going to dribble out, and they're doing nothing but trying to stall. Trying to stall. And Streetman with the steal, throws it out. And they're going to say she's either stepped out of bounds, traveled, or I, I guess she stepped out of bounds. Step, he said she stepped out of bounds. A minute 53 left to go. It was a great steal by Streetman, but apparently too close to the line. Fry will inbounds. O'Hanlon in the backcourt, guarded by Harvey. Harvey tries to make the steal. It gets away, but Shope was right there to recover. And now they'll set up the stall again with 144 on the clock. Streetman tries to steal. Now over to Williams in the corner. 
Williams will drive the lane. Now sets it back up. Just trying to stall. Will she go to the bucket? No, she's just going to dribble around. It's time to start fouling, folks. That's right. And now Friedman will foul. But she fouled Williams, and that's not a great person to foul in this situation down by four with a minute 23 left to go in the game. Well, that, uh, that wasn't the one you wanted to foul for sure. And Coach Lands is not very happy about that one. Williams will shoot here. And she sinks the first of two. Fifty-one forty-six. This is the front end rebound, Harvey. Five-point lead for Pottsboro, their largest of the night. A buck nineteen on the clock. Streetman. Left side, Hargrove kicks it out. Alyssa Smith drives the lane, kicks it out. Foster had for a second, I thought, for a moment to shoot. Here's Alyssa Smith for three. Banks off, rolls in and out. O'Hanlon rebound. A minute left on the clock, down five. And it appears like the Lady Bulldogs are going to be in trouble again. And Pottsboro just has their number. Under a minute, 50 or 48 seconds, rather. Streetman fouls again. And once again, oh, Williams will go to the line. How already trailing by five. You would expect at least more than that now with Williams shooting. Williams hits the front end. 52-46, a six-point lead. And now, again, the largest lead of the night. Left-handed shooter, Williams. Hits the second one, 53-46, a seven-point lead. Streetman dribbles it off her foot and out of bounds. She was trying to drive to the bucket and just had a catastrophic moment. 40 seconds on the clock, Derek Lands calls timeout. It's going to be Pottsboro's ball going left to right here with a seven-point lead. That... Uh I hadn't heard that since uh, November, left or right. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, uh, that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll regroup. We'll make this happen. These girls ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. You know, it's just like it, it's so tough when somebody has your number, you know. Right. And it. And Pottsboro always seems to have that number. And on this, you know, this is the best Lady Bulldogs team in quite some time. It's been a really long time. This is the team that they, you know, really had been dreaming of since they were all sophomores and all right. these seniors that are out there. And, hey, it's, they still may be in a great situation. Oh, yeah. Because of the by-district round. You know, you might play Grandview in the first round. And that is not such a bad situation since they think they can beat Grandview since they played them in the Whataburger tournament. Right. Fry kicks it out, O'Hanlon guarded by Foster. Pressure now underneath. Smith knocks the ball away, and it gets away for a moment. And a foul call on Fry, I believe. Yeah, it was. So Alyssa Smith will shoot. Not a good foul on Pottsboro right there. And Smith will shoot. 53-46, Pottsboro in the lead. Smith rims it in and out. 31 seconds on the clock. Williams dribbles it up past Streetman. Now is going to take as much time off that clock as she can. She'll dribble around, top of the key. And we'll kick it out to Shope. Fouled by Foster intentionally. 13 seconds on the clock. And Shope now will shoot free throws. Pottsboro leading by seven. 
You know, and you think, well, it's just one district game, and it really is. It's just, right. it's just a district sure. game. Now, had the Lady Bulldogs won, we'd be saying, oh, what a, what a great win that is. It's a monumental win as Show puts this one through 54-46. But when you lose, it really is. It's just one game. Right. It's all it is. Here's Hargrove driving to the bucket, puts it up, and puts it home. And that cuts the lead to six, six. with four seconds left. 4.42 to be exact. 4.42 4. seconds. You know, it has come down to, uh, you know, the shootout. They uh, both have done a great job. Uh, it's not what you wanted as far as uh, the turnout, but uh, they don't have nothing to be ashamed of. They'll, uh, they'll regroup. They always do. This team's fantastic about regrouping. You know, we were talking about it. We don't want to talk about this, but next year. Right. Because uh, this is not a playoff game. It's not like they're nothing's changing. I mean, they're still dominant, and they got a long way to go. But what's funny about this group is Coach Lands has taken this group since they were really young, get them all the way through senior year. Next year, he's going to get a new crop of freshmen that are unbelievable. So he's going to do the same thing with a new group. Right. And here's a foul on Shope by Alyssa Smith, 2.83 left. That may have been her fifth. I don't know that. But I, that may have been, yeah, it's her fifth. Yep. As Alyssa Smith will shake hands with Keith Bates, the Pottsboro head coach, and she'll make her way to the bench. And Michael forgot the camera. Hey, there we go. So Shope now will shoot. And missed the front end of the free throws there. 2.83 2 seconds left. How trailing by six. And another miss. Peyton Streetman, the rebound. And she's going to put it up from half court. And just a little bit short. Pottsboro wins again over the Lady Bulldogs. And How led for the most of the contest again. It's the same scenario every time these two teams meet, it seems. It is. So, Michael, we have 50, 54 to 48. Was that the final? 54 48. 54 48 was the final. And, uh, you know, it, it's one of those games where early on they were getting some big shots, Darcy Foster. But when that game turned into a free throw contest, how started getting into some foul trouble there and didn't start working out. No, when, it didn't work Pottsboro, out like they wanted it to. When Pottsboro went to the line, it was, uh, it was all but over with that. We're going to take a timeout. We're going to shut this one down. We're going to reboot, and we'll come back with how Bulldog basketball against Pottsboro here in just a moment. <laughs> 